first like to give a hearty round of thanks and appreciation to the association for doing such a marvelous job of enlivening and advertising this marvelous place. The museum itself is a real piece of U.S. heritage and has many things to say. This particular exhibit excites me partly because it's got something to do with my own father's history, but also the staff did an excellent job in creating something that's interactive. Shows the development of communications at sea from signal flags through lights, through radios, three different generations of radios, and through satellite communication. It's a real tribute all to see my father's name on that bronze plaque out there. By the way, when we had the opening, the association did another surprise. They gave me a set of binoculars to look out there at the Balclutha, and there were a set of signal flags there. They asked me to interpret those, and I did. They said, ahoy, Ken. That was a rather nice start. Back in the early days, when he was 10 years old, he learned to build a crystal radio set and learn Morse code. He actually taught me that when I was only 10 years old. I'm afraid I don't remember much of that. But then at 17, his father died, so he had to support his mother and his sister. So he quickly became qualified as a radio communicator. He went all over the world on freighters, communicating very well. Back in 1941, we all lived in Honolulu. And guess what happened on December 7th? He was the fastest telegrapher at the time, as far as I know, 90 words per minute, without error. There was only one person up here in San Francisco who could receive him. For 20 minutes, he then put out the only commercial stories about the attack on Pearl Harbor. Of course, then he was shut down by the shore patrol. My interest in uh, museums is to get teenage kids really excited, not only about history, but also about invention. Invention is always possible. There's always a new way to do things. And we've got to get our teen kids to be able to think so and start doing it. It's been a great privilege to be associated with the association as well as with this museum partly because of my own ties to my father and also to see the marvelous things that are portrayed here. It's a place for everybody to come to and enjoy.